Alright, this is going to be the first in a series of videos I'm going to make called uh, my Dota 2 Fundamental Series. I'm going to go over uh, creep stacking and pulling in this, um, which I think will help a lot of players who uh, come from LOL or don't have a Dota background really understand uh, what those terms are and why they're important. So, stacking is um, a pretty simple concept. You have to understand the mechanics of how the jungle works in Dota to understand stacking. So I'm going to go over that really quickly while we wait for creeps to spawn. Um, <laughs> there's a drawing function on the map in Dota 2. So I'm going to do my best John Madden impersonation right now. Okay, so there will be creep camps here, here, and here. There's more than that, but we're just focusing on these three for now. Now, at every uh, zero zero, creeps will spawn as long as there are no units in an area that looks like this. Let me try to draw here. Oh, I'm John Madden. All right, that's a terrible box, and it's completely wrong. But uh, <laughs> as long as nothing is within uh, around this area, that creep camp will spawn. And we're going to abuse that to allow us to uh, stack a creep camp. What we're going to do is... Right when zero zero is about to come around, we're going to aggro the creeps in this camp, and we're going to pull them down here. So when the game does that range check at zero zero, there are there isn't going to be anything in range, and it's going to say, okay, this camp's dead. We're going to spawn new creeps. However, None the camp won't be dead. Me. It'll just get leashed back into that area, and then you'll have two creep camps stacked on top of each other. So I'm going to give you an example of this right now. Now the timing for this is pretty lenient, as long as you aggro at around 52 Onward. seconds, you should be good. 51 will work, 53 will work, but uh, you have to be kind of on the, the ball. Is clear. So our first camp is already up, as you can see, and I'm going to aggro it at 52 seconds on the clock. Hmm. Yes. So we're going to pull it out here. And the game is going to do a range check in 2, Out 1, now. Oh, great, a lag spike. That's beautiful. This is really going to help the video. None shall hinder me. Okay, well, lag spike aside, it worked. Now I'm going to teach you how to pull. You can pull at every 15 seconds on the timer or every 45. So when it says X15 or X45, you can pull. Here's my first pull at X15. I'm going to take these creeps. I'm going to pull them into the lane. As thou will it. Then they're gonna aggro my uh, my creeps, and then bam, the my creeps are going to get killed by the jungle creeps, which is gonna deny the enemy team exp. And while my creeps are here, they're obviously not pushing, which allows my teammate to free farm at our turret without danger of being ganked or killed by the enemy heroes. Like the enemy just lost an entire wave of exp right there, which is very very good for our team. So. And I'd normally have a teammate down here that would be uh, getting these, this EXP and last hits at the turret. Now since Onward. nowhere near all of those creeps was killed, I'm going to uh, pull it again. And this time I'm going to help my creeps DPS it because I actually want the gold from these uh, minions. I want both the gold and the EXP. So I'm going to get uh, going to help my creeps kill them and try to get all of the last hits. Yes. Once again, pull at 15, aggro my own creeps, deny the enemy team EXP and gold, make it safer for my uh, teammate in lane to farm because he never has to overextend, and then try to get the last hits here, which I'll probably fail like half of them. Magic be dashed. The true path. See, one thing about the double pull is you really have to help your creeps DPS or else you're going to end up uh, having to tank like I, I am right now, which early game is very bad. I probably should have just backed off and waited for another pull. Now, Troll pulling is something that supports usually do. It's not really something you would see an anti-mage do. Anti-mage would be the guy in lane farming. But yes. uh, while well, I'm by myself and uh, I didn't want to miss every last hit, so I picked a really easy hero to last hit clear. with like anti-mage to make this uh, much less embarrassing for myself. So There's pulling again, gonna finally kill off this creep camp. Onward. By now the enemy team has lost about a level just from having all of I these go. creeps die in our, in our jungle, which is very important. 
Now, I'll do another tutorial later on how to counter this if you're the enemy team, which is pretty simple. Um, as I told you, the game does a range check to see if it will spawn new creeps, right? So, if the enemy plants a ward within that range check area, then it will stop those creeps from ever respawning, which is like completely shuts down this strategy and even shuts down junglers. I go. Well, that's the end of my basic pulling and creep stacking tutorial. Out of my Hopefully way. you learned something. <laughs> and uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments below.